Okay, YouTube, there it is. To be honest with you, I'm really impressed. It went together really well. Uh, there's a lot of tugging and pulling and things along that line, but uh, things I learned along the way, I'll explain as we go, but it went together really good. It's a 3V 20 foot dome, and we'll be turning it into an aquaponics system as we go. But let me kind of show you a little bit as this will go. Let me walk over here, jump off the back of my truck. I'll pull it back here, up right long way. But yeah, they, they fit really well. You know, I mean, I could, some things could have been a little bit better and tighter, but, but look at this. That's not too bad, actually. I mean, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. But I'm pretty good at figuring things out as we go. The joints are pretty good. See that? I had to get up there and tug around a little bit. It's getting towards the end of the evening. Yesterday I spent four hours on it, and where's that one at? Four hours yesterday, and I actually spent five hours, but I had to take off an hour because I had to go get some more stain for my beautiful wife so she could finish staining these for me. And I just got, we started out with, we had two different flavors of uh, stain, and she ended up just mixing them together, so we got a real dark brown. But it does look pretty good, I'd say. Everybody will get an idea what's going on here. I'm walking around come over here I got that little scalpel put together right there and that really helps to get up there it was just a one-man job it was it's all I did was one guy I, my wife did get up there and help me with the last two pieces of wood and I had uh, two different tenants come by they walked by and I had them hold something for me and that was about it but I did get it all together by myself so it is possible for anybody to do this kind of thing you just get in and decide to do it Having a little bit of carpentry experience really does help. Don't get me wrong on that. I don't want to minimize the track. But see that? Look at that. It's just, they go together. Here's another one right here. See that? The sun's kind of messing that up a little bit. How's this one over here? See? Now what I did, remember I mentioned earlier about the... Uh, little knee wall on the bottom. That really, I think, made a big difference because what it does is when you come up here, let me see if I can reverse this a little bit for myself. As you reverse this, as I do, the the, the uh, groin bed's gonna be about this tall. I might put some stone or something, I don't know what I'll do on that yet. But anyways, it'll be about this high. But this gives you a lot more headroom in here when you go to to do this, you see. See, I'm standing right next to it, and I can easily reach back here and get get everything uh, picked. That's the goal. Now, what I'm kind of trying to do is over here. This is the north end, right there, and uh, somewhere's over here. I'm going to have my fish. And it'll probably be tilapia because everybody seems to use them because they do grow quick and everybody likes eating them. And I don't mind them, I suppose. I'd rather. Have bass or something but that, <laughs> that's okay but from right around here this area is where the plywood's going to go it's going to come right around here somewhere it's up and around up to the point and then back down like that and they'll end up over here somewhere um, that's going to all be plywood and insulated but that's what we've got and as you can see it all came together pretty good I'm not complaining at all I can't wait to do the next one already Another beautiful day in the Midwest.